I've always been a searcher. And I think a friend saw this in me. And maybe also he saw that I was searching in the wrong places. So he wanted to lend me Autobiography of a Yogi to read. He said it was a fabulous book, but he didn't tell me anything about it, what it was about. So I thought, okay, if it's a great book, I'll read it. And I opened the book, and I wasn't able to read even a page. For some reason, there was a block. And I just couldn't go further. I think I was supposed to keep on searching in the wrong places for a while. But I, what I felt was it just wasn't the right time. But I remembered this book, and there was something that remained inside my memory. When I saw this book again at a friend's house, sometimes in a bookstore, I'd say, that's the book that I'm going to read someday. And uh, so I had a very fondness for this book, even though I couldn't even get in the first page. But about five years later, a friend of mine, a man I was living with, gave me another book to read. It was called The Land of the Ancients. It was a book about Yogananda, or most of it was about Yogananda, uh, written by Norm Paulson. He was a disciple that lived in SRF with Master and also with Swami Kriyananda. And the first part wasn't that interesting. The end part wasn't that interesting, but the middle part was his life with Master. And I just, ah, this is what I want to read about. And so it came to mind, the autobiography of a yogi. And I said to myself, now's the time. So I found the book as soon as I can, could, and I started reading it, and I couldn't put the book down. I felt enveloped by the book. I felt that I felt Master's presence. He was inside my heart, and he was also all around me. And from that moment on that I read that book, I became his disciple, and he became my guru. And my life started changing very quickly after that. I was in a relationship that wasn't really working out that great, and I felt like I needed a change. This was the change, because I was so enthusiastic about this path and what it was and how to participate in it and how to embrace Master and the spiritual life, how to begin this. And so I started taking the SRF lessons, learned the energization exercises. We did it through thick, thick figures that were in the, in the lessons, drawings of how the exercises looked. That's how they had it at that time. It was before at computers, and, and I never went to a class on it, but I learned it all that way, my energization exercises. And I learned the Hongsaw technique, again, by reading it, and it was changing my life. And then um, my boyfriend that happened to see my change, he said, you know, I have another book you might like. He was the one that gave me the first book, and it was The Path by Swami Kriyananda. It happened like a miracle because the years that I knew him, I never even knew he had this book hidden away in a drawer. And he said, I was considering living there one day, but I never did. So he said, here, I think you'll like it. And so I read it, and I couldn't believe it. I was just totally taken aback by what was in the book. It was a disciple, Swami Kriyananda, that was describing the miracles of this great saint who was my guru now. And um, he talked about how Yogananda dealt with people, how he dealt with the other disciples, and I was completely thrilled. And I thought, wow, what a place. These are disciples like me that want to do what I want to do. They want to live with Master. They want to learn the teachings. They want to live for God. Oh, I have to go there. And then I got in contact with some people from Ananda, 
And they said, well, you should come and see the place first. Don't jump the gun. Take, see the place first. Take some courses and see if you like it. And yes, if you want to live here, I don't think there would be any problem. And so that's what I did. I knew I had to save money to take the courses and also to take a plane. And, um, and I didn't know what other expenses would be. So I had to work a little bit extra. But it was going on and I still wasn't earning enough money. And that's when Master called me on the telephone. It was in the middle of the night and of course it was a dream. But for me it wasn't a dream. I could even still hear his voice when he said, Mary, where are you? Come, come. And I'm waiting for you. And I thought, wow, what an invitation. I can't wait any longer. I'm just going to go. So I told um, the person I was living with my dilemma, and he gave me enough money to be able to cover what I needed to cover to start me off. And that's what I did. I came to Ananda, and it was all that I expected. I felt that Yogananda was present at Ananda. I met Swami Kriyananda, and I felt like I was home. And I felt, now when I look back at everything, I felt it was Master that engineered the whole thing from the beginning to the end. And so I'm very glad now to be a part of Ananda.